everybody, this is Ben, and welcome back to another, yeah, another, and another, <laughs> getting a lot of these episodes of the Computer Craft Challenge. Um, I have had one heck of a week. I'm, I'm just going to disclaimer right off the bat here. And uh, my you know, family's been getting sick, my daughter, and my wife, and I'm, I'm so far not been hit with anything, but yeah, they've had the flu, and so it's been a really busy week, and I have not had the time to really uh, go into the in-depth planning that uh, I, I kind of should do for the whole uh, relay communication system here. So I think I am instead going to kind of take a, a bit of a, a cop out here and work on getting up a tree farm to completely alleviate any fuel issues forever that I just won't have to worry about it anymore. Is that yeah that is a creeper way over there. They're freaky no matter how far or close. Snow Alright, oh I gotta eat. I was having that problem last episode, I did, or two episodes ago, I think it was. Did I eat? Oh no, what am I thinking? I got my pork chops right there. Take those. Alright, cooked pork chop. Those little pop-ups are kind of nice. Like when you switch between things, iron sword, cooked pork chop, cobblestone. Yeah, that's cool. Alright, so let's get sidekick going. Because really, um, he should just always always be going because I'm gonna forever need more diamonds to build more turtles until I rule the world the infinite world all right so go left turn forward three left turn forward right turn <laughs> You. That was crazy. <laughs> what? Did I just lock something up? I mean, you are no. This is this is sidekick right here. He's got all of the setup. Okay, maybe if somebody can tell what went wrong here, you could tell me. Um. You know, it must be when I rewrote the Go program, right? Let's take a look at that. That's uh, almost assuredly where I screwed it up. Oh, great. So here we are, uh, three minutes in, and already I'm off to fix bugs that I've caused. <laughs> uh, wrong API turtle. Oh, no, it's programs. And, right? Progr oh, programs turtle. Programs go. Okay, so I changed all this stuff, all these functions. And yeah, what on earth? I guess I should not have done that. I remember liking the way this was written, but now that I'm back in here trying to debug it, I, I realize I didn't actually look at closely at how it works, so this is not so nice. If you had a string, lower S direction. What? And S direction and distance equals one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this takes the input, it grabs direction, is the T args is the the input. Uh, so we go here, uh, the number arg. So text arg, number arg, yeah, got it. Well, um, oh, this is the number argument it's on, okay. 
Yeah, so that goes through there. That's normal. Function handler calls that. If function handler, if that exists, then while n distance is greater than zero, um, if oh, oh, I might know. Um, do do. Right turn, and this is this is very simply true. Uh, right turn, left turn, need to return. Uh, yeah, I didn't I didn't think of that. It's not something I usually think to check for because there is literally no case in which turning could fail. That I mean, if someone's got an idea for when they could fail, um, you could you know let, let me know. Um, it looks like <coughs> excuse me. I might have missed a couple of these returns. So, okay, right turn returns true after it works. Left turn, return true up. Now it goes through here, and I have a return false, but I think I forgot. Everything works, return true. Same thing with down. Return false, but no. Return true. So, yeah, this is this is good debugging, and this is, this is all bugs in my API. So, that's good to have return. Turn false. Turn true. Yeah, I think when I was trying to rewrite some of this stuff, I screwed this up and forgot to put the return to trues in. Turn trues. Great. Okay, face direction. Um. Yeah, I, I guess I won't worry about that because that's something that I'm only ever going to call. And like I say, I don't ever worry about if turning was successful because it, it always is. And there's my go-to's. All right, sweet. So let's pop back over, back to game. Okay, go forward. Actually, let's just do um, right turn. No, still didn't like it. Hmm. Why not? Well, let's just try go forward three. Yeah, it's just not getting any returns or something here. Come back. <laughs> All right. Where's the moon? Okay, it's way over there. That's that's a little crazy. I don't know why. Um, pop back over here. So again, so function handler is it grabs string to lower the direction string from t handlers and it translates these left turn, left, right turn, right, etc. Do function handler. I'll uh, end distance is greater than zero to if function handler. Else sleep point five. Yeah, what? That should absolutely be returning true. Okay, let's look once more. None of this stuff seems to return true. Why not? Hmm. Did I just not? Did it just not reload? I guess I should try that before I go digging in and driving myself crazy. I should try, I didn't think to try like a, a reboot to reload the API. I don't think of that kind of thing because I don't, I don't deal with APIs a ton. Okay, loaded API, right turn two. Perfect, yep, that was the only problem. All right, good. So then we come back to here. Uh, two, three, four, five, six. Great. So go forward six, right turn, forward, right turn. All right, that's the spot. Finally, you've got 
coal, we've got fuel, we've got all your stuff. Yep, go mining. All right, see you sidekick, you're back at work. Good, good to have you back. Sheesh. All right, well that, that blew a good chunk there. <laughs> oh God. I guess it's a good thing you make those creepy noises now, Mr. Spider. <sighs> Level up. Level five. All right, so as for the tree farm, now that I can focus on that, I uh, was thinking about that briefly in like the minutes leading up to recording this. Did you, yeah, you got the T-A-P-I. Hey, what? Oh, there's a, there's a bug. Huh. Why did it do that? Must have had that one selected. Um, there's, there's a few things I'm going to need to do with Sherman there. Sherman the smelter. Um, especially once I get the tree farm going. But the tree farm, I think, is going to be out on this side of the wall. Um, and then I can have the, the tree farming turtle come and drop things. I can, I can dig out the wall behind these two chests here and have him uh, dropping off wood in here to be smelted. And then he can be picking up charcoal from from this, the bottom chest. And I'm hoping... Um, yeah, I'm hoping that shouldn't be a problem. Um, anyway, let me just... stack those up just for future use. Okay, so... Now we need, oh, yeah, he is, oh, he is going, cool. I wasn't sure if he would go without having picked up something new. Good, I'll have more food now. Um, so, next thing is we need to give this guy a name and start making him into an automatic uh, little lumberjack guy. And I have so many pieces of junk here, mostly cobble, I guess. But I have bones, so he could, uh, could bone meal farm for quite a while, but I think I'd rather hook up something you know more sustainable. So, uh, okay, we're gonna have to clear the area. We're gonna have to hmm, have to put in some water to collect saplings. That's that's really by far the best way to uh, to get get the saplings. Have the water channel them down to the turtle. All right, so first of all, let's get you hit him with a pork chop. Doo -doo. There we go. Great. And I'll just take my shortcut that I keep using. Ow. Boy, that would be that would be kind of poetic huh, if I jump down here and there's a, a creeper. <laughs> and I'm like, oh shoot, I can't get back in. Alright, so, wireless mining turtle. You have a name already, right? Tester, yeah. That is not your true name. So, let's, let's give him his true name. Okay, so I just quick paused, went back and looked, and I'm going to go with the name, oops, um, set given by is a super ph1234 super f i don't know how <laughs> klaus 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 the lumberjack sounds pretty good let's see what he's got for fuel fuel 72 awesome i will give you a couple just in case and then you should all automatically know how to log a tree. Heh <laughs> heh. Um, looks like I'm probably going to be using these, uh, these evergreens. Oh, unless I wanted to make a jungle tree <laughs> tree farm. Hmm. That... Okay, that's intriguing to me now. Who... Oh, man. Who would like to see that? A jungle tree automated farm. I should have grabbed Klaus. Um, I need to modify his program to cut down a jungle tree, which would actually be 
um, more efficient than than cutting down a regular tree. Okay, I'm gonna go and grab Klaus. We're gonna cut down some jungle trees. And the uh, thing is about the jungle trees though, that they have all those branches that stick out. I don't know how much wood how much wood would make or how much of the uh, saplings would make it to the ground. Uh, I wish there was some way to control the, the growth of these better. Yeah, I would love to have a jungle tree tree farm. I mean, these huge ones where you plant, you know, like four, plant like four saplings and they grow huge. Yeah, that would be awesome. <laughs> um, I I don't, I I have to relent. I I don't see that happening, unfortunately. Due, due to the problem with the uh, saplings making it to the ground, it probably would not be sustainable. Whereas, like here, I've already got a sapling to replace this one. It only takes one. So, let's see here. <laughs> so, my. I can't see anything. I need to mark mark where the those chests are for this melting, so I can have him dig those out. And this looks like sidekicks back up. Oh, okay, they are in line with this thing. Oh, great, that was unnecessary. Um, yeah, yeah, they're totally right there. All right, good enough. Right at the the low. Okay, lowest part. Where it, or where it takes a step down, not the lowest. Anyway. Sidekick, you give up a present for me? No, not really. That's fine. You can keep the coal. Off he goes. All right. And daylight's wasting. Okay, so we got Klaus. Klaus. Claus. Is that Claus or Klaus? I like Klaus. Oh. Yeah. Forgot about that. And Klaus. Get over here, Klaus. So we just go Lua. Dig up. Tina up. Dig up. There we go. Place down. There we go. Now he has access to those chests. Um, maybe I can, you know, kind of niceify the area later or something. But uh, yeah, great, great, great. Um, break him again. Because oh, happy day. It's. Yeah, they keep their fuel and everything now, and uh, so it's way faster than doing the coordinate movement system. So let's go there, and then we just say, actually, let's just give them a bunch of fuel. There. Now we won't run out. Piggies. Maybe I should build myself a pick, just for breaking him. Speed that up a little. Oops, get into the console first. <laughs> yeah, take that down. 